Now the ability to customize your Fire Stick, maybe you want to change your home screen launcher, maybe you want to block updates, maybe you want to change your screensaver, all of these different things made the Fire Stick a very attractive streaming device because we had some level of control. Now unfortunately, as you guys are probably aware, if you've been following my channel for a while, it really does seem like Amazon are now slowly, slowly unstitching all of those previous tweaks, those previous customizations, and really just taking back that control. So as you guys saw that on the latest Fire Stick update, it's now no longer possible to use Launcher Manager. So the application which Swimwolf developed no longer works on the latest update. On top of that, my TDUK update blocker has now also stopped working. So again, if you are running the latest update, we now no longer have the ability to stop Amazon pushing those updates. And would you believe it now, guys, my TDUK Debloat Toolbox, which is a great application to disable background Amazon processes, has now also been affected. So in this video today, let me show you exactly what Amazon have done, both on the Fire OS 6 and Fire OS 7 devices. And it really does seem like they're not going to stop until they're pretty much blockers doing anything on their device other than running official Amazon applications. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So let me first start with the 4K Fire Stick, which is running Fire OS 6. Let's open up the toolbox. Now we can see all of the processes available on my 4K Fire Stick. And if the box next to the process is not ticked, that means that that process is still running, that process is still enabled. Now as I demonstrated this in my previous video, this is a great application, really easy to use. It'll free up memory on your device and it'll stop these things running in the background, which you know, consume your memory and also take up CPU cycles. So it just means that your device is more busy because these things are running in the background. Now what's happened in the latest update, if you do have the latest update, um, for example, let's say I don't want to use Prime Video anymore because I don't like Amazon Prime, I have third party applications, or maybe I just use Netflix. Wherever the reason is, on the previous Amazon devices, we can now tick all of these boxes, which are related to Prime Video. We can see there's five in total. But what's happened now is if I tick all five, so we have five things selected for Amazon Prime. If I now click on the play button on the top right, which is basically how you apply the change, let's click on that. That tries to change the status of those five applications. And what happens? In a couple of seconds, we can see three of those get unticked automatically. So let me do that again. So let's forget the first two. Let me now say I want to select these three. I don't want these running in the background. It's my device. I don't use Amazon Prime. I'm going to disable these three processes. I tick on these three. I click on play. The command runs in the background to disable those three processes. But in reality, what Amazon doing now is they're blocking anybody changing those three processes. So like it or not, those three processes are always going to be running on your device. And this is what we saw with the launcher manager and also the update blocker where the permissions for those processes have now been changed, which means we cannot disable them anymore. So this means now on my 4K Fire Stick, I have to have those processes running. I mean, that's just a few of them. If you go through the list here, another one that I found was Amazon Shopping. Click on that. I'm sure you've seen this application appear. I'm not sure what it does. It doesn't have an interface, but it's definitely running on my system. And with the previous version or with the Debloat toolbox on the previous version of the Amazon software, I could click on this, click on the play button on the top right, and that will then disable that process. But as we can see now with the latest update, it keeps on being re-enabled. So it just shows one more time that Amazon are slowly undoing all of these things, all of these tweaks, all of these customizations we put on our Fire Sticks, and they're going to dictate exactly what can run on your device. And 
I really am worried that it doesn't seem so far-fetched now that they could say from this point forward, we only allow applications to be installed directly from the Amazon App Store. So if it's not on the Amazon App Store, you can't install it. And I do think that will be a massive mistake, but with the way things are going, who knows? Um, that's a couple of things on the Fire OS 6 device. Let me now jump over to my Fire TV Cube, which runs Fire OS 7. Let's see what's broken on that. Here we are on my Fire OS 7 device. You know it's Fire OS 7 because we have that blank icon issue. So whether you're running the Fire Stick Lite or the Fire Stick Max, you'll also see this. Let's open up the Diblo toolbox. Now again, we can see these three processes. If I try to disable them, click on play. Very quickly, they're re enabled again. So we've lost that control. But also if I scroll down, for example, if I don't want to use IMDb TV, I'm not fond of it. I think the content is not that great, or maybe I just don't like it. I click on that. I click on play. And within a second, guys, that's now re-enabled. So it just further cements that Amazon are going to completely dictate what happens on their device. We cannot disable these processes. I mean, yes, I can still disable some of these, but you can see slowly over time, anything that we've previously blocked, it seems like they are going to go through the process and make sure that we can't change these processes anymore. So what was previously allowed to block, it looks like Amazon going to change it. So we cannot block it anymore. We cannot block processes. We cannot use Launcher Manager. We cannot block updates. Maybe they'll even go after custom screensavers, which is one of the toolboxes I made, which was the TDUK Screensaver Manager. So lots of changes coming and it does seem like it's not going to be the best, especially if you are somebody that likes to customize the Fire Stick or have control of their Fire Stick. It looks like the future is not looking too great. But And just before you go, guys, if you are looking for a new VPN or maybe if you're not happy with your current VPN, IP Vanish, who are one of our channel partners, are offering a great discount at the moment where you can get complete protection for unlimited devices at just $3.99 a month. So really at that price to get all of that protection across all of your devices at really fast speeds with confirmed zero logging, I think it's definitely worthwhile checking out. And at the same time, it also helps support my channel. So really appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know if you're still going to stick with the Amazon devices. If you're not gonna look elsewhere, maybe this is gonna be the final straw and maybe you're gonna look at Android TV devices like the Chromecast or the TiVo Stream or any of the different options. Or are you too ingrained in the Amazon ecosystem? And whatever Amazon do, you'll always be a loyal customer. So do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Please do like and share this video. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.